Joy Anna Duggar kept fans up to date while she and her family dealt with a scary situation as her son Gunner was taken to the hospital for a health emergency. On October 8th, Joy Anna, who shares three children with husband Austin Forsyth, shared a photo on her Instagram stories of her 16-month-old son resting in the hospital while hooked up to oxygen. She wrote, Gunner got sick a few days ago. It was just a light cough and runny nose, but it didn't get bad until day two. We had laid him to bed, and then he woke up a few hours later wheezing and struggling to breathe. We had done all the things we could do at home and nothing was helping so we took him into the ER. The 26-year-old continued before sharing a clip from the hospital as she revealed that he had to be admitted. She explained everything the doctors did to try to help Gunner at the hospital before making the decision to admit him, including breathing treatments and steroids, but nothing appeared to work. Gunner was soon admitted so that they could put him on oxygen. Joanna shared more updates throughout the night as she stayed up with her son. Her husband came with the kids later and took over watching their son so that Joanna could rest. Thankfully, the doctors were able to wean Gunner off the oxygen overnight, and he appeared happy and healthy the next day, with the Counting On star sharing a clip of him smiling and playing around with his father. N. Finally, Joanna shared a positive update as she posted a photo of the whole family smiling and wrote, After two nights and 25 hours on oxygen we are going home. As expected, many fans had questions for Joanna, particularly about what the doctors suspected was wrong with Gunner. In a video uploaded on her stories after they left the hospital, the mother of three explained more, referencing Gunner's trip to the hospital earlier this year. The last time he was sick it was just your common cold and so I kind of felt like in my gut when he started getting sick that it was the same thing and sure enough he had a common cold she said adding, his respiratory system just cannot do well on its own. After thanking the hospital staff, Joanna noted that the doctor suspected Gunner might have asthma the doctor was saying since Austin has asthma, and a couple of my siblings have asthma, he's thinking that's what Gunner is struggling with. The doctor couldn't officially diagnose Gunner, but Joanna said he directed them to visit their regular doctor to try and figure out if he is truly suffering from asthma. Fans can follow Joanna on social media to see what she learns as they further explore Gunner's health situation. Along with Gunner, Joanna and Austin share a son named Gideon, 6, and a daughter named Evelyn, 4. Counting on alum Joanna Duggar Forsyth is back with scary updates about her son Gunner. The 26-year-old mom previously quit YouTube to focus more on her kids. Her decision also comes after a scary incident with Gunner, which nearly put his life in danger. But it seems the nightmare experiences of Joanna are not over, as her youngest child got sent to the hospital again. Keep reading to see what happened. In June, Joanna uploaded a vlog featuring Gunner's terrifying incident. According to the counting on alum, her son choked on a piece of ham she fed him. Fortunately, Austin was there to perform proper steps to unchoke his son before rushing him to the hospital. Joanna was very emotional, as she couldn't do anything without her husband. Some sympathize with Joanna, while others give her tips on how to feed her youngest son. Joanna recently took to IG stories to share a scary story of Gunner getting sent to the hospital. According to the former Counting On star, Gunner got sick a few days ago. It was just a light cough and runny nose at first. But Joanna and Austin began to notice that he was struggling to breathe. Due to this, they rushed him to the hospital for proper care. Joanna Duggar Forsyth later revealed that Gunner received multiple treatments, such as steroids and suctioning his nose out, but nothing was helping. However, Gunner was a warrior and fought through his struggles. Joanna stayed up all night because Gunner wanted to be held. After slowly lowering his O2 through the night, Gunner began to feel and breathe better. A few hours after the scary story, Joanna Duggar Forsyth shared clips of Gunner being active and playful again. He was clapping with joy as they finally got to go home. According to the counting on alum, her son's respiratory system can't do well on its own. They've done all kinds of treatments at home but he wasn't responding well. It's unclear what kind of condition Gunner has, but their doctor believes he has a type of asthma which Austin also has. Jill Duggar and Derek Diller took the trip to Tennessee to attend Jason Duggar's wedding. The Counting on Sibling married Maddie Grace Jones on October 3rd. Despite the devastation Helene brought to areas nearby, Jill's share featured several moments from the wedding and festivities following the ceremony. She documented Maddie Grace walking down the aisle, the vows, the dessert truck, and even some dancing. Derek joined in with some dancing, 
showcasing his knowledge of the crank that Soldier Boy moves. Glimpses of the couple posing with some of Jill's siblings were also thrown in for good measure. Ahead of Jason Duggar and Maddie Grace Jones' October 3rd wedding, Jill Duggar began documenting the family road trip to Tennessee. The mom of three shared three parts, and the final part showcased several moments from the wedding. Jill and Derek Dillard have opted not to share their boys' faces on social media, but their voices and sometimes other non-identifying things are included. Israel, Samuel, and Frederick were in Tennessee with the couple but did not appear in any photos. She captioned the share, road trip to TNPT3 Jason and Maddie's wedding, and added several hashtags to the end. Jill also tagged the venue Jason and Maddie Grace. Jill Duggar and Derek Dillard mourned the loss of their daughter, Isla Marie Dillard, earlier this year. However, she wasn't the only child the couple lost. The couple experienced an early miscarriage just before Frederick was conceived. It happened during the first trimester, so they could not confirm the baby's gender. To remember their little one, the couple chose the gender-neutral name, River Bliss. Jill took to Instagram to remember the baby they lost and acknowledge their love for the child. She isn't the only Duggar sister or sister-in-law to experience pregnancy loss. Each of her adult sisters except Jana has all suffered a miscarriage, and Joanna Duggar experienced the loss of her daughter Annabelle during the second trimester. Lauren Swanson and Josiah Duggar also experienced pregnancy loss. The couple talked about it on Counting On, and like Jill and Derek, they chose a gender-neutral name Asa to remember their little one. Despite everything going on with Jill and Derek, the couple has chosen to attend to her siblings' special occasions.